good day. So, with the Ruger American Rimfire, with the Federal High Velocity, 36 grain, this is what we got. We were getting groupings, or I was getting groupings like this. And then, um, I switched over to the Federal Match stuff. HV Match stuff. And I was getting better. Uh, that one's an 8.6. Well, you can see the federal stuff, the the plain federal stuff, just wasn't grouping as well with that. Um, federal match, I've got a... With a flyer kicked out, I've got 7.72. There's another federal match. Another federal match. I got a bit of breathing... Then we moved over here to the Aguila Sniper Subsonic, and it was .770 with the one flyer being kicked out, and including the one flyer, it's point it's one point zero two. So that's pretty good. Here's a federal match at seven six two. Or seven six five. There's another one where my scope decided to loosen off. All of a sudden, I fired one round and thought, "What the heck?" And I fired another round. I knew exactly what the issue was, and that was two days ago. And then today, I brought up my GSG and uh, point nine seven one thirty six grain hollow point federales. That top one is me just checking a zero. Over here we got a 0.611. But the biggest, weirdest thing was the Agula Sniper Subsonic just did not stabilize. I've got two keyholes there. And then below I, I went and fired a string of... Uh, Federales there, and it was a whole bunch of trigger control. I went and was trying it with gloves on. And here's another batch of Aguila Supersonic Sniper Sub blah blah blah. And then a Federal Match with that. I've got a 509 there. And I got a 0.85 with the Federal Mat, uh, Federal Hollow Point. And there's another decent group with the Hollow Point Federal. And that was another hollow point federal. I don't left one blank. But, uh, yeah, uh, my words of the wise, don't be trying that. Aguila uh, Sniper Subsonic through a GSG-15.